Welcome to my lecture online. Our next example is a real brain twister. So let's see if you can work this one out first, and then if you get stuck, see how it's done. At least, I think I know how to do this. So what we have here is we have a steel tape that's exactly 100 feet long when the temperature is 65 degrees Fahrenheit. The coefficient of linear expansion is 1.2 times 10 to the minus 5 per centigrade degree. So we'll have to convert from Fahrenheit degrees to centigrade degree. Now when the temperature goes up to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, we take the tape and we make a measurement. And the measurement between two points on the ground is measured to be 86.57 degrees. Um, not degrees, 86.57 feet. Now, of course, because it's warmer, the tape would have gotten longer, and so that's not a real true measurement. What we're trying to find out is what is the actual measurement between those two points on the ground. Hmm, how do we do that? Well, let's draw some tapes at the two different temperatures. So let's start out by drawing the tape when it's 65 degrees out. So here, at 65 degrees Fahrenheit, the tape is this long. This is a steel tape. At 95 degrees, the tape would have been, would have expanded, and now the tape is longer. Of course, I'm greatly exaggerating the thermal expansion of this tape. And then we take a measurement. And so here, we get a measured value, and this would be a measurement of 86.57 feet. Now, of course, that very same measurement on the tape, and this is at 95 degrees. This very same measurement would have been somewhere over here. Now again, I'm exaggerating this. So let's call this value here x sub naught, and this is the true measurement. This is indeed 86.57 feet. So 86.57 feet, that is the actual true measurement. So this is the true value up to this point. So that means that the measurement of the distance between the two points on the Earth, so that this, these two points are right here, those two points are obviously, this is the apparent distance. So the real distance is actually greater than that. The real distance can be measured right here. So this would be the real distance or the real measurement. If this is the true measurement of 86.57 degrees, we can call this delta x. So we have x sub naught at 86.57 plus the delta x will give us the true reading of that particular uh, point on the Earth from the starting point over here. So this distance, the true reading would be x sub naught, which is 86.57 feet, plus the delta x. The measurement we get when we have the tape at 95 degrees will make us think that this is 86.57 uh, feet, but actually that point will be over here when the tape is at 65 degrees. So ultimately the true value, the true reading, the true x is equal to x sub naught plus the delta x. Now let's go ahead and find out what those are. The x sub naught we now established will be in exactly 86.57 feet when the tape goes back down to 65 degrees. So this would be 65.60, oh, not 65, let me try this again, 86.57 feet, plus the delta x. Now, how much is the delta x? Well, we take this piece right here, and then we have an expansion due to the increase in temperature, so it would be x sub naught times the linear coefficient of expansion times delta t. So that would be my delta x. If I figure out what this is equal to, then I can go ahead and add those together, and that will give me the true value, the true measurement. All right, so this would be 86.57 feet plus x up now, which is 86.57 feet, times the linear coefficient of expansion, which would be 1. 0.2 times 10 to the minus 5 per centigrade degree. And then the delta T would be the difference in temperature, which is 30 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 Fahrenheit degrees, 
But then, of course, I have to convert that to centigrade degrees. And the ratio is that we have 5 over 9 centigrade degrees to Fahrenheit degrees. So the Fahrenheit degrees cancel out, and we're left with centigrade degrees, because, of course, there's less centigrade degrees than Fahrenheit degrees. All right, now we can go ahead and calculate what that is. So the true value for x, the true x is equal to 86.57 feet plus. Now with a calculator, we can calculate the other part. So we have 86.57, uh, 86.57 times 1.2 e to the 5 minus times 30 times 5 divided by 9 equals we get 0 0.017 feet 0 0.017 feet now notice we have two decimal places here we have three decimal places here which is approximately equal to 86.57 feet plus 0 0.02 feet round it off to two decimal places so this is equal to 86.59 feet as the true distance if we had measured the very same distance with the tape when the temperature was 65 degrees. And that is how that's done.